Dear friends, today we will see how sin is the ultimate cause of spiritual paralysis. Sin controls all aspects of our life and even eternity unless we are redeemed from it. The gospel passage depicting the healing of the paralyzed man continues the theme of how Jesus repeatedly goes out of his way to forgive the sinners. To understand this story, we need to be aware of the close links that the people of the time saw between sickness and sin. Sickness was often seen as a punishment for sin, either the sin of the person himself or of a parent. Nowadays, we do not see something like paralysis or a physical handicap as a punishment from God. We do not believe that God works like that. On the other hand, it is likely that many health problems which we have can be linked with a disharmony in our lives arising from a conflict between what we are truly meant to be and what we tend to be. They are the result of the harmful stress when we are out of harmony with God, ourselves and other people and environment. In that sense, we can see a clear link between sin and sickness. We may not be confined to a bed or a wheelchair, but we are still paralyzed by sin and in need of the Lord's forgiveness. In this Lenten season, let us evoke the words of our Lord to the paralyzed man. Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. These are words of incredible comfort as it display our Lord's power over our sins and weakness and whatever stress we face. God bless us all. Amen.